Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is of course Catman Joe and welcome back everybody to another brand new video guys. Today of course we are back on some Minecraft and today guys we're going to be continuing the conversation of Minecraft PlayStation 4 Battle Edition. You've all heard it right folks, we're continuing the conversation. So if those of you guys who haven't seen my previous video, of course the new actual Battle Edition news that I covered I guess a couple days ago on Friday, 100% before you watch this video, I would recommend watching that video guys. That video will pretty much fill you in on all the information I'm going to be covering today. Not really in full though because today we've got a lot of new information, a lot of new leaks and along with that as well we're doing a bit of like a Q&A kind of video obviously so I hope you guys really do go to enjoy it guys because this is some amazing information and some amazing news I know that in the previous video guys of course on Friday with the support I got on it, it was unreal but I know there was still a few people that were out there left skeptical there was still a few people that just didn't want to I guess believe it was true and didn't want to get their hopes up but today guys I've got some news that you're going to want to find out about so yeah welcome back to another brand new video and let's just jump right into it so since the previous video guys of course me and the bedrock leakers that's what we're calling ourselves now guys the bedrock leakers let, let me know what you I think of the name by the way because we 100% it but nonetheless since a previous video me and the bedrock leakers which obviously you know compiles of course of me while the gamer gaming guy beta bedrock howdy is chris mzx and rex wolfen and we've all been sitting chatting we've all been sitting looking and scouring off through the internet trying to find new leaks and new information from you guys and thankfully a lot of you have came forward and obviously gave us some stuff that we're going to be speaking about today and along with that as well obviously we've been doing a little bit of our own research as well guys so it's been a very 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 interesting weekend and i really hope you guys enjoy the news but today i wanted to cover a couple questions because obviously in my previous video I showed proof of PlayStation 4 Bedrock Edition's existence. I showed actual photographic proof and video proof of people in the store. Two different people, one guy in the store actually I guess recording videographic proof of him speaking to the employees about it and another bit of proof of course which was three individual photos two of which that we actually ourselves were the ones that brought to the community which by the way just saying that all the bigger content creators that do credit for that that was super scummy we were the ones that found it but me and the guys have actually been the ones that have been talking about this so much and uh, one thing that, that you know obviously to come up of course was questions like you know how do you know if this is real so one question I've got here guys that you know this is where I want to kind of begin this video and begin the conversation is from Corner Pence and he says how do you know these people who quote unquote of course have the game didn't just print off a picture and put it on the case now there is obviously reasons instantly straight off the bat of course to just say listen you're completely wrong dude how could you even say that question but I understand the criticism because if you guys don't know the three individual photos that we got from Rex Wolf and I'll put them on the photo I'll put them on the screen right now maybe individually or all together who knows those three photos all came from the exact same person in the exact same store so at the end of the day I understand how there could be some critics out there who can maybe go well that could be fake Joe that could be clickbait you could still be lying how do we know that you're not a liar i mean you've done it before i haven't lied before actually and all my proof has kind of came to light right now i mean everything's coming true obviously so hey hey but nonetheless i understand the criticism so today i want to begin by just disproving all the criticism and showing that not only one person has found this actual information or this news so obviously as you all know of course as i said rex wolfen was the one who originally leaked a photo of the actual game in the wild and that was a photo that pretty much blew up all over the internet now listen after rex of course other players like you guys watching right now started getting savvy a lot of you guys started going down to the stores, your local Walmarts, your local GameStops, your local games, any stores in general that sell games, of course, you started going there and looking for the game, which by the way, big, pra you know, big praise and big credit to you guys, because that was really quite smart of you all. So a lot of you guys started doing it, and a lot of you guys started finding the game. This guy right here is called Aaron, I, I believe it's Kramer Kramaroy, I might be saying it wrong, obviously, but Aaron and me had a conversation, he gave me full permission. Everybody whose photos I used, by the way, here, unlike some of the bigger YouTubers, I got full permission to use before I just used it, and I'm giving them full credit, so credit to these people, but you you guys can see right here as well from Aaron, from Aaron himself, this is a photo he put up on his Twitter and I'll put it on the screen right now. Now this photo is of course PlayStation 4 Bedrock Edition guys once again on the shelves of another store which is Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? I mean, that's quite coincidental, isn't it? Now, now, not only one person, but two people have also somehow, apparently, or maybe possibly, printed off the exact same photo for PlayStation 4 Bedrock Edition, obviously, to use as some sort of, what, misleading clickbait, and they went to the extent of making it, actually wrapping it in plastic, and then taking it to a gaming store, and putting it beside other games on a shelf. Now, something here that's quite actually interesting as well, just to actually mention right here, is of course, the game itself, the case, everything is the exact same as all the others that we're going to showcase today, because there's a lot more. And um, but along with that as well, you might see the price. Just giving you guys a bit of a heads up, the store itself actually put that game on the wrong shelf. What had happened is they have these games through the back and they're not supposed to yet, but they have them through the back. And what basically had happened is they thought that was the actual normal average legacy edition Minecraft PlayStation 4, which obviously it isn't. So they put it on the shelf beside where that would actually be, and that's why the price is so low. But yeah, that's the first person I want to cover from today. So big ups to my guy Aaron because that was from him. The next guy I want to cover is a guy called Crystal AA15YT, and that's some guessing as you. 
future but whatnot, but none of the name, uh, nonetheless, his name is Crystal AA15 or double A15. Now, he put up on his Twitter actually, coincidentally, another photo of PlayStation 4 Battle Kitchen out in the wild. And Crystal, you can see here, has posted before, it's got his actual app for his Twitter, but you can see right here the game is marked at $30, the actual price that we've seen for all of them. And once again, the case is the exact same. There's nothing different, there's no, you know, d uh, unsimilar things on each case, like they've all been kind of faked or whatnot. So, this now at this point, ladies and gentlemen, if you're keeping count, is three individual people that do not know each other, have never met each other, have never spoken to each other, have never even seen each other, don't even live in the same states in USA of course, have all each and individually of course found the game on shelves at their local game stores. Now that's that's pretty interesting, right? Now you think of course there's still people out there that might obviously still disbelieve or whatnot, so let me just continue. Now this one right here, this next leak is by far in my opinion one of the best ones out of all of them because this one is a great one, it's a little bit of a double combo, you know what I mean, right? So this one's kind of like how Rex put his original photos up with me and you know Wild and one away all got him to obviously get the photos in that for that, uh, you know, for us and whatnot for the videos and for the tweets and all that kind of stuff. But this guy right here guys, his name is NK, I think it's all Ar Archer, I'm probably saying it wrong, it's Kurt Kurta or something like that, and, and Kurta, you guys can see it on the screen right now, I'll probably end up saying it wrong. He actually released a photo of PlayStation 4 Battle Condition once again, now this is a fourth person from another place that never met any of the other people that we've already mentioned. This guy released this photo right here, now this is two photos by the way, back to back of course. So he actually released, you know, one individual, like two individual photos and I put them together, but look at this. How interesting is that? An exact copy once again of what Rex got. Rex got the exact same game cover, the exact same game, guess, uh, guess, sorry. The exact same, the exact same game case back as well. Everything, every detail, even the writing, the text, everything is the exact same. But once again, this is in another game store. You can actually see, unlike all the previous photos, unlike they're, they're just, you know, on a shelf or whatnot, these ones are actually taken in a game store. You can see specifically on the right hand side of the screen right now, again, that is quite clearly a game store. Now, this is, again, the fourth person right here. So, oh, we're getting more and more and more people. This is quite interesting. Now we've got a fifth person, ladies and gentlemen, a fifth person called Cool Hand LM. Now, you guys can see his Twitter handle right here, of course. Now, Cool Hand actually tweeted out a photo of the game, of course, on another store. Again, once again, another gaming store. You guys can see this right here, of course, he's got the checklist so of course it's like that from obviously snapchat or whatnot but if we zoom in very closely of course guys i mean you guys can obviously either bring the screen closer to your you know your face or whatever once again you can see minecraft bedrock edition of course or minecraft playstation 4 edition obviously or bedrock edition that's what it is once again and another game store now what is quite interesting as well and a lot of people seem to just forget is if you look underneath the game itself you can see with all these other photos as well a lot of them have the exact same game underneath it as well they're stacked up on top of each other so for any of these skeptics out there the, these big brain people that believe that this game could possibly be, you know, people could possibly going, be going to the extent of genuinely remaking a false fake, I guess, front and back cover for PlayStation for Minecraft Battle Edition, then wrapping it in plastic and making six individual copies to take them to a store, to put them on a shelf, to take a photo of them. If you genuinely think that, is the case, you're actually delusional and you should get locked up, I'm not even kidding, because this is right here guys, five individual people that once again, I can guarantee and I can confirm and I can warrant for these guys, all five of these people have never at all met ever in their lives. Never, ever, ever. The only similarities they have are they're all in contact with me. So that is it. Right now you're already saying, Joe, this is actually insane. You got me so hyped up because you just disproved, you know, you just disproved all the people that do not believe the game is real. That's five individual, you know, five completely and utterly individual people and completely and utterly different stores. Again, you can legitimately go DM these people if you want. If you do not believe me and do not want to take my word as face value, you can DM these people. They will tell you themselves this is 100% the case. Now we got another person here for a sixth person because I know again, I've just got to really kind of nail the, I've obviously just got to hit the nail really deep in so everybody gets it into their skulls that this is not fake, ladies and gentlemen. I understand with one person leaking a bunch of photos, it could come across as there's a, you know, there's some sort of, in some world obviously, a possibility of it being false or falsified, which again, it wasn't. Rex was 100% truthful, you know, 100% truthful and those photos were 100% legit. But nonetheless, this is complete confirmation right here because you guys can see this guy right here here is of course called uh, Zelotic or Zelotic, I think that's how you say it, I'm not too sure, I'm probably I'm saying it wrong. This guy right here actually leaked another photo as well, once again, another person to leak another photo. If you look right here guys on the screen, this is a photo, it's quite hard to see, probably one of the most difficult to see, but once again, this is a photo of Minecraft PlayStation 4 Battle Edition, three copies of the game actually, side by side, locked behind a glass case in one of the stores, I think this is Walmart or it's Best Buy or something like that, and you can see them quite clearly if you're to zoom in, obviously you can see them, but it definitely says of course Minecraft, and this is Minecraft Battle once again guys, locked behind a screen and one of the gaming stores. So there you guys go, that is six individual people that have genuinely never once met 
all from different areas of course in the world or whatnot and they've all found the game as well. I genuinely want to make it very clear, I've went to extends actual I guess lengths to make sure we can get all this kind of stuff right here to show you guys. So we've got another person here, this is the sixth and final person. Now I actually made a mistake a minute ago when I said Cool Hand LM was the actual guy who supplied me with the other photo. The other photo actually it wasn't supplied by him obviously, it was actually supplied by Goon Monster, that was who he's called. Goon Monster was one who actually supplied the photo of course of the game, uh, obviously in the store that said check this out and actually the photo and whatnot, the Snapchat thing, that was Goon Monster. I probably will edit of course in there so you guys can see a minute ago but none Nonetheless, we actually got the two photos. We got two different photos once again from another person called Cool Hand, and he leaked two different photos that are actually completely different from the rest and really good. One of them, which you guys can see right here, of course, is this one right here. Of course, you guys should be able to see on the screen. Again, the price is the exact same as all the previous ones, and it even says this is at my local Target. So this one here was at his Target store, and then at his local Walmart, he found it once again. The exact same guy went to Target, he found the game, and that's the photo that you just seen. Then he went to Walmart and found it once again in a huge pile of other games. Games, obviously you guys can see it right now on the screen you can see there's three identical copies you can see two of which and one in the middle is like a sandwich there is three different copies of minecraft playstation 4 barrel edition right there and underneath that there's minecraft playstation 4 edition which is a legacy edition underneath those so there you guys go right there this is seven people now this is not one not two not three not four not five not six but seven individual people and i honestly implore everybody watching if you stay in the usa or other places in the world that have game stores nearby just maybe go into them have a look around the shelves and if you see anything tweet them at me of course and i will retweet them and drop you a follow because this is amazing. So for the second question of this video, it's a really great question because everybody's been quite worried about this. Everybody has been spamming me, asking me for the answer to this and I've kind of continuously kind of copy pasted the same kind of message of you'll have to just kind of wait and see and today I want to give you a bit more of a I guess in-depth answer on that question. So the question itself here, I'm using Suspect's comment which there was plenty of these comments but I'm using his ones and you know just specifically. It says, will we need to buy the bedrock I'm sure to put edition if we already own Minecraft PlayStation 4? edition it's a great question honestly because everybody in the community at least the bigger youtubers all the like the littler people like myself and whatnot and the you know the bedrock team whatnot the bedrock i guess leaking team uh we, we've all kind of tried to answer the question but we personally just couldn't answer with 100 honesty and i guess truthfulness because we you know we still don't personally know and we don't want to lie to you guys but i think i have a theory that kind of points towards the fact that you will get it for free so something has been very peculiar for the past couple i guess days that we've seen with all these photos getting leaked and there's been more guys there's been a lot more photos that have been leaked has been the fact that every single store that seems to have these games only seems to have around about five to maybe seven copies at max. Around about either one to three to five to seven, like in that kind of number range. So between one and seven, that's how many copies they have in, the sto in, the, in these huge, massive stores. Now, there has been multiple stores that have had copies inside of them. As I said, you guys have seen a couple of them today, you guys have heard a couple of them and whatnot, but these stores have only had seven copies of a game that is about to drop that has been the most anticipated game for Minecraft PlayStation 4 players. It is the follow-up to Minecraft PlayStation 4 Legacy Edition, of course. So it's going to be a huge game. So it kind of raises the idea and the question of why has there been so like so little, I guess, amount or so, such a small amount of copies given to the stores? It's kind of peculiar. And the reason why I believe there has been is because they already know they're going to give the game away for free. This is my genuine opinion and my genuine thought. And I think it's the truth, guys, because there's some ideas behind it. Now, obviously, of course, as well, if you guys don't know, simply put, the Xbox Xbox One Legacy Edition, when that got obviously the, the Bedrock Edition brought out to it, of course, the Xbox One, they got to upgrade for free, and it was actually just until about a week ago they stopped doing that. Now, that's been what two years they had consistently allowed you to upgrade from the old version to the new version for completely free. And um, when, obviously, of course, again, Bedrock Edition first came out as well, if you had, of course, this was again back then, if you had Java Edition, you would get Bedrock Edition for free. In fact, you still can get it for free if you have Java Edition. Um, of course, you just need to obviously make sure you have your account details and whatnot. But but they gave you it for free. If you had, I believe, Pocket Edition as well, obviously it was like an upgrade right away, so that was already free, I'm pretty sure. And along with that as well, I'm pretty sure the Nintendo Switch actually also got it for free as well. Again, some of you guys can comment on that, please let me know about the Nintendo Switch, because on the Nintendo Switch side, I genuinely am not that confident, I don't really know that much about that, but I'm almost certain that they got it for free as well. So, the simple idea that the PlayStation 4 Edition players, the ones who have waited the longest, the ones that have been, in a sense, abandoned almost, and been the ones that have been kept in the dark the most, don't get it for free. 
is genuinely unbelievably stupid, honestly. So I think 100% we're going to get it for free. I think the idea that, you know, they're only giving so many copies to stores is a simple kind of pointer towards that because they don't expect a lot of people to buy the game. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, if you can get it for free online, obviously on your PlayStation 4, why would you buy the game? Well, the idea behind it, of course, in my mind as well, is that if you guys know, obviously, all the copies of Minecraft that we've seen so far have been starter packs. The starter packs come with 700 tokens, which are not mine coins, which is kind of strange as well. And along with that as well, of course, they come with four different things. I believe so far, as, as far as we know, of course, there is the little uh, little big planet mashup pack that comes with it, uh, which obviously will bring you the skins and everything like that, of course. So you, you'll get the skins, you'll get the mashup pack, the texture pack, all that basically kind of good stuff. You guys obviously already know all, you know, what that kind of stuff is. And uh, along with that as well, we'll get some other additional things, I believe, as well. We'll get the plastic texture pack, from what I actually recall, because again, I read the back of the case. We'll get the pack, uh, we will get the plastic texture pack, or no, the city texture pack, actually. That's what it was. And skin pack one, along with the, uh, the Greek mythological uh, mashup pack. So two mashup packs, one skin pack, and one texture pack. Those will be the four things, including the 700 tokens you get when you buy the starter edition or the starter pack. So in my mind, I think what's happening is the starter packs are going to be there for players, obviously, that never bought PlayStation 4 Barrel Edition or PlayStation 4 Legacy Edition. Uh, and obviously, of course, they can buy it there. And that's why there's so many, like so little of them, of course. But online, the PlayStation 4 players, of course, again, upgrade probably will not get the starter pack, which kind of does suck. But at the end of the day, folks, who really cares? But yeah, I think we will get it for free, guys, 100%. Again, it is more or less, in a sense, speculation because obviously we haven't heard, we haven't even seen Mojang or Microsoft or anyone like that at all at the moment officially acknowledge the fact that PlayStation 4 by Rocket Edition is being leaked, obviously, on this higher scale and with this many photos and all this kind of good stuff. So at the end of the day, yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, I, in my opinion, I think we will get it for free, guys, and I hope so as well. Obviously, I've got, obviously of course, guys, I'll keep you all updated, of course, especially on the day it releases. But yeah, again, that's just my opinion i think we'll get it for free all right guys so for the third and final question of today of course we've got one from panda palace now this question is related to the release date of the game of course i'm going to confirm the release date to all you guys and tell you everything that's happening on the 10th of december the supposed release date which is of course guys only two days away so i'm super hyped to wait for it guys i'm super 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 hyped but nonetheless let me read this comment so panda didn't explicitly say anything like related to when's release date or anything like that but what he did say is if it don't actually come out tuesday i'm done and 52 people liked this comment so i mean i feel him honestly i totally understand i'd be the exact same way there's been so much build up to this guys that at this point if this wasn't to happen it, would either, it wouldn't even be that this news was fake it'd be that genuinely sony or microsoft have just stopped it which they wouldn't do at this point it's just ridiculous so i'm going to show you guys the proof towards the game actually existing in real life of course without just the leaks uh, or without just the actual like photos and whatnot in case somehow you guys still don't buy that as enough news or enough proof here's the legitimate website so the first one we're going to begin with is obviously of course best buy you guys can see it on the screen now best buy we covered in of course friday's video as well the website was taken down the exact same day it was uploaded. If you don't know, on the official Best Buy website, a place that cannot be, uh, you know, edited or, you know, I guess uh, modified, unless it's someone who actually works there and someone who actually is, of course, running the website, it had an actual post for the Minecraft Starter Collection PlayStation 4 because it's Minecraft Bedrock Edition, that's what it is. And uh, you guys can see, of course, the price. It said it was coming out the 10th as well. It had the release date and everything like that. It had the ESRB rating, of course, it had the SKU, everything. It had absolutely not really everything, of course. And we all got screenshots and photos. And thanks to a lot of the community as well who jumped in there and got photos as well because obviously, as you guys know, about an hour or two after it was you know, found out, of course, and announced by a lot of other people, the actual Best Buy, I guess, website runners took the entire page down. So if that right there just doesn't show proof that in my opinion it does then i don't know what will but anyway we've got other stores here as well we've got another store here called deepdiscount.com this site right here as you guys can see is selling the selling excuse me is selling the minecraft star edition once again of course for playstation 4 and again the release date is the 10th of the 12th 2019 again you guys can see it right there of course it says there i think they're out of stock or something like that right now but again that's another store right there another one on top of that is blow it out of here of course which is really probably one of the most sketchier ones here so i don't want to really rely on it or lean on it too much but i'm just going to use it as an example again you can see right here minecraft star edition or star collection for playstation 4 and it's again of course got the 10th of the 12th 2019 to, you know 2019 i was about to say 2012 and then for the final one that we've got guys of course this one is more credible it's the exact same as best buy if not better this is of course guys the minecraft game leak now this one is mad see best buy in the usa is like the official kind of store i feel like for games and whatnot obviously i'm sure there's other ones like you know of course gamestop and whatnot but in the uk we have got game hmv game stuff like that game is the biggest one in the uk and in the uk you guys can see right here game actually had a web page up as well which once again guys they've took you know all these web pages have been taken down from game and of course best buy because they've obviously realized they've leaked it and now they're no longer there but you guys can see right here here's a screenshot of course what you know big up small boy mz because he was one actually 
actually got the screenshot, I believe. But you guys can see right here, this is of course from game themselves, and it has been leaked, of course, that they had the game, and of course they had the release date as well underneath it. I don't have the photo of the release date, but again, it was the 10th of the 12th, 2019. So these are all these websites, two of which are the biggest websites in the USA and the UK that have officially, of course, acknowledged the game and said that they've got the release date for it, of course, but obviously taking down the web pages right away. Now, if they were guilty, they would just obviously, of course, or if they were wrong, they would just say they were wrong. They wouldn't just take down the web pages. The fact they take they taken them right down kind of just proves by itself that this is real. Now, as for the 10th itself, of course, guys, the 10th of December is a huge day, obviously. There's a lot happening that day, including the very final in the entire year 2019 State of Play. If you guys don't know, State of Play is a Sony specific, I guess, like, I, I guess video uploading or video kind of convention, if you want to call it. It's not really a convention, but it's like basically a cut every couple months, Sony releases a video of upcoming games, uh, you know, shows gameplay, it shows footage, it announces games, obviously, stuff like that during the push or, uh, of course, State of Play. The final one for, of course, 2019 is happening on December 10th. Coincidentally, as well, the only day of the week the store actually gets updated on PlayStation 4, and the State of Play is going to be actually airing before the store actually gets updated. So, what I think is going to happen, of course, is it's going to get announced, of course, or I guess obviously shown on the State of Play, and then a couple hours later, of course, because it's Tuesday, the only day of the week that the PlayStation Store gets updated, the PlayStation Store will be updated, and you'll be able to get PlayStation 4 Bedrock Edition. Along with, of course, the 10th of December being the final day for the actual State of Play, of course, along with that as well, the actual Busy Bees update is, of course, coming out on that day as well. Contrary to popular belief, it is coming on December 10th and December 11th, and actually, I only found out the other day as well because I thought it was coming on December 11th, which would have made sense because, again, the very next day, of course, update would have came out, but this makes even more sense if it's coming on December 10th, which it is. So, an actual, I guess, the head of Minecraft, the studio head of Minecraft herself, Helen Chang, I believe that's how I say her name, she actually has, of course, her Twitter, I'll have it on screen right now, and she actually put in response to a fan, of course, basically a fan or somebody basically commented saying, so is this uh, so is this happening on December 10th or the 11th? It was about, obviously, she retweeted the actual Busy Bees, of course, trailer, December 10th or 11th. I'm getting mixed messages on this all over, uh, all from uh, official sources. And it was kind of a fair point because, obviously, everybody didn't know if it's coming on the 11th or if it's coming on the 10th. Everybody originally thought it was the 10th and then it somehow changed to 11th. She actually responded to this comment herself, though, of course, saying, awesome that you want to be, and of course, using B, of course, as a pun because they love to use it, one of the first to get the update. We'll be rolling out the update on the 10th, but some players may not see the update until the 11th due to time zones. That was literally it. So on the 10th, along with it being the final state of play, along with it being the only day of the week the store gets updated, and along with it, of course, now being, of course, the exact same day the Busy Bee update comes out, it's just madness. There's so much going on. And to give even more proof to this, if you don't believe Helen Chang herself, this what I'm about to play you guys right now is a small clip from the actual, of course, uh, Busy Bee's, I guess, weekend event that was happening, obviously, over the weekend now. It's happening on Monday, the final one as well, coincidentally, so I'm, I'm thinking we'll hear something there. Excuse me. Um, but on the actual event, at one point, they actually, obviously, of course, confirm it is happening on the 10th, the actual release date of, of course, the Busy Bees. But because of, of course, time zones and whatnot, it'll be in 11th. I'll let you guys watch a clip, and then that'll be us. Awesome. That is awesome. Oh, so Hi Shy Guy says, okay, we'll be over on update day if there are no puns. Oh, I assure you, there will be many, many B puns on <laughs> the 10th, which by the way, I, I did want to say that uh, for most folks on both Java and Bedrock, it will be out on the 10th. Mm. It'll just be for Nintendo Switch players. They don't get it until 7 p.m. on the 10th, 7 p.m. Mm. Pacific time on the 10th, which well. for some Switch players is actually going to be on the 11th. So that's okay. why we've been saying it's out on both the 10th and the 11th, because it's the 10th for pretty much everybody except for some of the Nintendo Switch players that live in places where it turns to... Right. 11. Yeah, 11. Alright guys, so there you all go right there. That is the clip, of course, and I guess that pretty much just confirms everything, folks. So there you guys go, ladies and gentlemen. That is all the news I've got to cover for today. Obviously, of course, folks, I know there's, you know, nonetheless, probably going to be that one person who still just doesn't believe, and for that person, all I can say is just wait till Tuesday, honestly, guys. I am super excited and super hyped and super stoked for Tuesday. Tuesday is going to be one of the biggest days of, of course, this entire month, I guess. So it's not even the biggest day of the entire month. It is going to make this month 10 times better, just as good as Christmas, honestly, and I can't wait to see all my, my fellow, I guess, PlayStation 4 brethren on, of course, Bedrock Edition with me, either doing parkour running and trying to beat me because none of you will, or just doing some, you know, PvP or bowling or whatever, guys. I will maybe be streaming on Tuesday as well. It kind of just depends if you guys want me to, but we'll see what happens, guys. But nonetheless, if you guys did go to enjoy today's video, of course, and all this new information I've compiled with help from, of course, the Bedrock leakers, be sure to go, you know, follow all them on Twitter. Please, genuinely, guys, don't feel haste. Be sure to, of course, drop a like on this video. It would be hella appreciated, of course. The last video almost got to 1,000 likes, which is just insane 
insane. And of course, if you enjoyed the video as well, guys, be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of it. Share it with your friends and family, of course, as well. Sharing it is the best way to help it get out there with more people and reach more people. And along with that as well, finally, of course, of all things, be sure to subscribe, guys. We are what? We are 1,500 subscribers away from 25K, which is just mad. And we gained like 300 subs in the past week. So I want to try and hit 25K, of course, before 2020. But obviously, I can only do it with your help, ladies and gentlemen. So if you guys can help share my channel around there, it would be hella appreciated, guys. And yeah, anyway, other than that, folks, thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful night, wherever you guys are. And yeah, guys, peace out.